What is my workspace like? What equipment do I use to create videos? What's the story behind all the things we can see behind me? Hello, I'm Crypto Casey, and in this video, we are going to explore my studio, workspace, and all the things visible both on and off camera. Please be sure to check out our sponsors, Ledger, Proton, and Masterworks. Get complete control over and ownership of your crypto investments by using Ledger hardware wallet devices with their growing crypto management ecosystem. Get a new free encrypted email address to protect your crypto investment accounts with Proton and more on Masterworks in a bit. Awesome. Let's do a crypto studio tour. Welcome to Studio Crypto. This is where the magic happens. This desk in the center of the room is where I research, write scripts, and do all of my work. On the floor under my desk, I have this large, comfortable rug that the cats like to lounge around on, and its main purpose was to be great for sound absorption for filming. I use a MacBook Pro laptop on a stand with a second larger monitor here to the right. On my desk in front of me while I work, from left to right, I've got my camera, microphone, and teleprompter set up. So when I film, I position my office chair in front of it and have the camera angled to capture the background details. Below my camera setup, I've got a color palette I display for my editor before filming to help with color correction. I keep a notepad and pen for when I need to jot down notes, make to-do lists and similar on the fly, and two drink coasters, one with the Bitcoin logo design and the other with Ethereum. Under my laptop, I have my keyboard here and my balisong for playing around with when watching or listening to content. Under my desk, in front of me, I have a space heater to keep me warm while I work. On the base of my second large monitor, I have some physical Bitcoin replicas I give out to friends once they become a whole coiner, or own one whole Bitcoin. As well as a collection of Forever Spin Metal spinning tops, which are also great for keeping your hands occupied while watching and listening to content. And under my monitor, I have it propped up with a book called Mastering Blockchain by Imran Bashir. Also, here are controllers to operate my space heater and TV. Panning to the right, I have my Star Trek The Original Series mouse pad featuring Kirk and Spock, and my mouse. Cool. From my perspective, when I sit down to work, I have a TV mounted on the wall in front of me that I can see between the monitors and this LED light with a dome soft box. On the TV, sometimes I put Spotify on to listen to music, or I'll have some news on in the background, or I'll have YouTube videos playing, but funny enough, this TV is mostly used to put cat TV on for my cats to keep them entertained while I work. In this corner to the right of the TV, I have one of my Jadu hoverboard snowboards, which if you haven't seen any of my NFT investment videos, Jadu is an augmented reality gaming and NFT project, which you can learn more about by clicking on the link above. And as an owner of some of their AR hoverboard NFTs, I was able to get real matching snowboards I can use on the slopes. These two lights to the left of the screen are just here to light things up to help film this particular video and are usually not here. On the wall to the left, I've got my diploma for my bachelor's of science and finance framed here. And continuing to pan left to the corner and back wall, I've got another Jadu hoverboard snowboard displayed that adds some fun coloring to the room. And hanging here in the back left corner of my studio, I've got my YouTube 100k subscribers silver play button hanging. Thank you to everyone who helped me earn this reward. I couldn't have done it without you. And I'm extremely grateful and appreciative of each and every one of you who likes and enjoys the content. So here to the left of where I film, I have an LED light with a softbox and next to it positioned over my head, another small light that helps add depth to the shot. It also helps extenuate the battle scars of my secret lab office chair from Catla, my black cat. What the f***? Catla, what are you doing? <laughs> oh. It's amazing. Next, let's take a look at everything featured in the background of my videos. First, a quick word about Masterworks. Masterworks is the first platform for buying and selling shares representing an investment in iconic artworks allowing us to build a diversified portfolio of iconic works of art curated by their industry leading research team. They do this using a proprietary data set to understand which artist markets are accelerating quickly and have the most attractive historical price appreciation rates. Masterworks has experienced a high amount of demand having to work to acquire more art and also imposing a waitlist to join. However, using the link in the description area below, 
We can skip the waitlist and become a member today. As a member, we can access their database for free to do our own research. Their research team decides which artist markets are appreciating. Their acquisitions team locates and chooses the best pieces to offer value to their members. And they have a first of its kind secondary market that enables us to buy and sell shares directly to and from other investors, which is currently only available to US citizens with US bank accounts at this time. So if you'd like to diversify by adding some art to your investment portfolio, scroll down to skip the waitlist and become a member of Masterworks today. Cool. Now let's go through all the items you can see in my background from left to right. Out of the shot here is another LED light I use to change the background color of the videos. And it shines on this wall to the right of my desk that features three shelves. On the top shelf is a small 3D mobile balance sculpture. I got it because it fits the frame. I like mobiles and it has an interesting shape. To the right on the wall is a round mirror with the Bitcoin logo etched into it, which creates an interesting lighting effect on the adjacent wall from the colored light. Below on the middle shelf, I have a metal silhouette of a paintball player. And to the left of it, I have a Smart Parts Octane Shocker NXT paintball marker in a rare yellow color with a blue Ninja SL2 compressed air tank and blue Exalt tank grip. If you haven't checked out my video about my journey to becoming a millionaire, in it, I talk about how important paintball was and learning certain lessons. And it was also the first brick and mortar business I started. So you can check it out by clicking on the link above. When I was a kid, I really, really wanted a burnt orange Octane Shocker SFT marker. But by the time I was able to afford it, I didn't have time to play paintball anymore. So about a year ago, I was able to find this rare yellow Octane Shocker NXT marker, which although isn't exactly what I wanted, it's still a pretty sweet vintage marker. On the bottom shelf here to the right, I have a violin here because I used to play in middle school and really enjoyed it. Having to move often as a kid, the next school I went to didn't have an orchestra program. So instead I started playing piano. And to the left of the violin, I have the book by Benjamin Graham called The Intelligent Investor, which is a staple in the finance realm with Warren Buffett calling it by far the best book on investing ever written. Nice. Moving closer to the front of the camera shot, we see some items on the back part of my desk. From left to right, I have a color changing resin wood lamp that looks decorative and interesting. To the right here, I have a small bronze sculpture of a frog looking up at a four leaf clover with two ladybugs on it, which was created by artist Tim Cotterell, who is known as the Frogman. This is my second work of art purchased by him. The other one was in my previous video background in the top right hand corner of the camera shot. And as a kid, I always loved frogs, finding them and catching them. I even had pet frogs I kept in an aquarium for a while growing up. So it's something I enjoy looking upon. To the right of the bronze frog sculpture, I have a 1 to 18 size model of the new Tesla Roadster that hasn't come out yet due to pandemic mayhem. As a kid, I played a lot of the Need for Speed video games. So I've always been a fan of sports cars and remember only wanting to ever buy and own cars I personally liked the look of. When looking for a car to buy as a teenager that I could afford that was sporty, I got lucky and was able to buy a red 2005 Hyundai Tiburon, which was a car that was actually in the Need for Speed games. Fun random fact, before I was old enough to drive and still playing paintball, I was really keen on getting that burnt orange Octane Shocker and getting the orange Hyundai Tiburon to match. At any rate, best first car I ever bought. And when I saw the new Tesla Roadsters were in concept and coming out in a few years, my goal was for that to be my second car. Since the release kept getting pushed back, I ended up driving the Tiburon from 2010 until last December 2021, when I decided to get the Tesla Model S Plaid to hold me over. So on my desk, I like to think of this as a model of my third car when the Roadster finally hits the market. Sweet. Moving along, under this section of my desk is a filing cabinet with a stack of three books. My friend's copy of Reem D by Neil Stevenson. Sorry, Rage, still haven't read it yet. On top of it, a book called Immune by Philip Detmer. And on top of it, the book Layered Money by Nick Batia. Panning more to the right, positioned behind my chair, facing the wall is another color LED light bar that gives me a lot of different background color options. Farther right, I've got this really neat 3D rose-colored metal sculpture hanging on the wall. I'm a big fan of 3D sculptures, especially ones you can hang on the wall that add a lot more dimension to space than just a flat piece of art. Below it, I have my Jadu Trippy Hoverboard Snowboard. This is the one I'm keen on getting set up and riding, hopefully, this coming season. In front of it, is an electric keyboard I use to mess around with Logic Pro to make music. Both the snowboard and the keyboard are held up by this empty computer monitor box because it was the perfect height to keep these background items in the video frame. 
And finally, out of the shot on the floor here in front of the box is a place where my cats sleep or hop on top of to meow at me while I work. Brilliant. So that's the studio and that's the story behind all of the things featured in the background of my videos. Let's wrap things up with an important reminder to please make sure you are transferring your crypto investments off of exchanges to hold securely in cold storage hardware wallets. Ledger is a cost effective and easy to use cold storage hardware wallet provider with several different device options between the Nano S Plus, the Nano X, and now available for pre-order is their most innovative and personalized device yet the Ledger Stacks. It's the size of a credit card and has a curved e-ink touchscreen, similar to that of a Kindle display, where we can customize the lock screen with a picture or our favorite NFT. And also we can customize the curved spine with unique text. Like the Nano X, Stacks is equipped with Bluetooth functionality, allowing us to connect to our Ledger Live mobile app at any time, anywhere. And we can charge its built-in battery wirelessly. In addition to their hardware wallets, Ledger is now an all-in-one platform for all of our cryptocurrency needs, where we can buy, sell, trade, stake, and secure crypto, access DeFi apps, interact with smart contracts, manage NFTs, all within the safety of hardware wallets where you have complete control using a computer or mobile app. So be sure to scroll down to the description area below to access Ledger's correct and official site, as well as redeem any special offers they may have going on. And you can check out my complete walkthrough guide for beginners of Ledger's entire ecosystem by clicking on the link above. Awesome. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell notification to stay up to date on all of the latest videos. So what did you think of the studio? Which background item is your favorite? What other questions do you have about my workstation? Let me know in the comments below. Be safe out there.